Hello, this is Victor and I want to do a very short um, studio update and also give my first impressions uh, about um, Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Today I've been looking at the free rules and all the stuff and I want to do my first impressions and what is going on. First of all, what I'm going to be painting this month. I will keep painting Harlequins as you can see here. I have some of the previous edition, uh, previous version of the metal harlequins. They look um, uh, it's the same design as the plastic ones that we have today. So I will paint uh, some of them. And I have here, so I will need to paint 10 more of them. And then I will finalize the harlequin force. I have also here some rock trade harlequins. So yeah, here is one of the rock trade that you have seen before. So I will, more likely this will take me three weeks to paint them all, maybe four weeks because I have to travel and then I will paint also some of these details and I will glue it on some of the ones that I already finished so these are from the spruce things that I want to finish so I will finish my Harlequin Force and I expect to do a showcase at the end with the full Harlequin Force together so you can see this in future I don't think I will do more tutorials on the Harlequins because now it's more of the same there is no, no new things that I, I'm doing so most likely uh, there will be no more tutorials. So this is the one I'm painting now and I will keep painting as you know, I paint one by one. After when I finish with these Harlequins, I want to paint these guys. These are um, some of the... Well, these are the Possess from Chaos. I want to paint them for my Corn uh, Force. Uh, I did you can see I did black prime and then I put some red prime from the top to the, give the shading and will help me to help me on the painting job so yeah I will paint five of these guys I don't want to use the wings the backpacks with wings because I will I will try to make a unit of raptors using the backpacks from the possess I find them are awesome and are good to do a unit of raptors or, you, or the one that yeah, I will see. Um, how that call? I will do one one of these units that goes with jetpacks with with the with the uh, backpacks with the wings have backpacks from the possess. And then what is going to be next is going to be this. So I bought. Let me go. I bought the the Warhammer the base the Warhammer Age of Sigmar today and I expect next week to have in and do a review so I will do a review of the Warhammer Age of Sigmar I've been looking today uh, all the rules and the different war, sc war scrolls to know how my armies are put so my my impression is uh, yeah these rules are well, the rules that they put here for free it's great that they put I will go back uh, they put, uh, if you see in the website, they put all the army books. Well, we have the rules for free, and we have all the army books here uh, in in the and even some S scenario. I'm only missing the monsters from a Storm of uh, what's called the name is Storm of Chaos, Storm of Magic. There were some monsters that you can pick from there, so it's the only thing that I'm missing. And of course, I, I was expecting not to have dogs of war, but I'm pretty sure I can fill them using a combination of Empire and Elf and High Elf and Dwarfs. So I don't have problems to have them. I will I will see how I put them. My first impression on these rules, they simplify a lot the system and I think it's great um, for new people and um, going into this game, it's much easier and you, you only have to learn your stats, there is no comparison versus uh, other miniatures so this makes the system much easier and I think it's great to introduce new people uh, in, the, in the hobby you can make very fast games with the, these rules the only thing that is still um, making me wonder is that there is no points in when you choose your army. Just put the miniatures you want on the table. I know that there is this way, um, way to to do a Soviet winning or, or something like that. But so, so, um, yeah. 
uh, submit victory. But uh, I think we are in the process of testing the rules. I expect in the future they will put points or they will put a way that to, to make sure that you put points on the different equipment and rules you put there. If not make no sense that you have option equipment and then you don't pay for this optional equipment, why you will not take it if it's for free. Uh, just using the 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 miniatures count and to know what is the to go to the victory subit, yeah, makes that the monsters can have some advantage versus other units. So I'm pretty sure we are going to see points in future. This looks like when you start army and you don't care about the points and you want to put all the miniatures on the table to see how they perform. This looks like that, like a big testing group um, of people and checking the rules. But I'm very glad, I'm very happy that we have all the rules for all the different armies in the website. I download all the PDFs and now I was checking uh, how, how, how they look like. Yeah, this was the way to have Bretonia this is, and the way to have Bretonia updated. So we were waiting for years to have Bretonia updated. Here we have the Bretonia updated. Maybe this is not what we were expecting when we say that we want new book of Bretonia, but no Bretonia is at the same level of all the other armies in terms of uh, rules update. So and I think no, uh, all the units are useful. So yeah, I'm yeah I'm quite happy with the rules. I I want to test them, and and yeah and looking forward to play with these new rules and see how they look like. And just to finalize, tomorrow I will go to a tournament, the last tournament I think for Warhammer Fantasy 8 edition. I will go with a colleague and to it's a pairs tournament, so it's I will play with Bretonia and my friend will play with um Wood Elves. So you can expect in this channel in short future also a battle report or a tournament report of the different battles that I'm going to play in this um, Pairs tournament. So it's the first tournament I play in Warhammer 8 edition, maybe a little bit late, too late, but yeah, uh, it's going to be most likely the last one too. I'm ready to, to go for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So that's all what I want to share in this video. I hope you find interesting what is coming. And of course, once I finalize with uh, these two projects on 40K, I will uh, start painting the basic kit because I bought the basic kit, I, well, I ordered the basic kit of Warhammer Age of Sigmar so I will do some tutorials and I will do uh, some showcase and painting and I will share how I'm painting the different key, the different miniatures that come uh, in Warhammer Age of Sigmar that's all for this video so thanks a lot for watching and see you in later bye